Welcome to Mechanical Engineering Design. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is SolidWorks tutorial exercise 20. The design appears simple, but it has very important skills that will enable you to grow your SolidWorks skills. If you are new, kindly subscribe and turn on notifications so that you will not miss my next upload. Your first step before you design, you need to look at where there are majority of dimensions. Now, as it appears, front view has more views than right view. So we'll begin our design from this direction. So if you can observe, the outer circle is 70 mm in diameter, while the inner circle is 40 mm. Downwards from center, distance of 50, we have another circle here. This circle is similar to this one and this one. Diameter of 20, while the outer one has a radius of 20. Now, let us get started. Select front plane, sketch, pick circle from origin. Then the next circle. Smart dimension, inner circle. 40 mm while outer circle 70 mm like that now we'll sketch horizontally we have a circle here now this circle at a distance of 50 mm similar to this one 50 mm similar to the other one so we can sketch one circle and do pattern so diameter 20 and outer one radius of 20 pick circle from here smart dimension 20 mm. This distance is 50. Convert this one to sketch or construction geometry. And you can select this circle. Go to circular pattern. Give a distance of 180 mm. Number of features. Three equal spacing. That's enough. And then center point is automatically selected, so you can say okay. You wanted three of them. So next, we can draw the outer arc radius of twenty mm. So you can sketch circle here. Another one here and another one here. Smart dimension. Radius is 20, so diameter is 40 mm. Escape. From here, we can select this circle. Hold on shift. Select this one and this one give equal relations like that pick line just join them we want to obtain a tangent now select this line hold on shift select this circle tangent relations Similar to this one, click, hold on shift, click this one, tangent relations, and finally, this circle, hold on shift, this line, tangent relations. Go ahead and trim. We erase these sides like that similar to this other side F 
first you leave it there confirm now here it's horizontal line touch this outer circle so big line from this quadrant you can extend to this other quadrant right click and select then trim to erase this part this part these ones like that then okay you can just dimension center distance 50 and then this one this height same 50 mm for us to obtain fully dimension sketch okay now all these dimensions can be taken outside like that now we are only remaining with the upper part of which we cannot obtain their sketches so from here we can obtain these other parts so extrusion distance this is 12 mm and this one is 38 from this face so from the other end it's 12 plus 38 which is 50 mm now there is one thing there is this fillet of radius 8 mm but we'll apply afterwards so go to features and extrude select contour we'll begin with this one the distance of 12 millimeters like that then okay now to go to next sketch just click on this down arrow to obtain our initial sketch then extrude this time we'll pick this contour total distance is 50 millimeters okay just as simple as that so we'll then apply fillet radius of 8 millimeters then we can select this line rotate and select this line okay like that now these two sketches are similar except the upper part and how do we draw the upper part in our case we will create a plane on top the distance of 55 mm from origin now on features go to reference geometry and identify plane first reference will now be top plane which is the center of our first circle now distance 55 millimeters upwards then direction on where we will draw points upwards if we were to draw from below then we would have changed direction but since you are drawing from above we leave it like this okay now click on this plane and sketch like this so you'll sketch two rectangles the first one is a distance of 10 mm this distance by the diameter the outer diameter which is 30 mm so there are two of them the distance of 6 mm and 25 spacing so we'll select corner rectangle sketch the first one sketch the second one 
distance between here and here 25 distance between this edge and this one 6 millimeters and the width which is here is 10 mm We'll have to specify that this line and this one are equal in distance. This line and this line are collinear. They are in the same line like that. Then this line and this line are equal. They have equal distances. See? sketch is fully defined and now since we are done with this plane we can click and hide like that go to features and then extrude direction of extrusion we reverse and we select up to next see then okay now see what we have, it's perfect. So we have this sketch up to center. Now we want us to add the other half, and then finally we'll complete with extrude cut diameter of 15. So first click on this face and sketch. Now we'll use circle command, identify center, Drag it outwards, this endpoint, right click and select. See it's fully defined. Go to features, extruded pose, outer distance, as you can observe here. Total distance is 14, while this one is 10. So outer distance is 4 millimeters, 4 mm. Then we can select direction 2. This the reverse direction, 10 mm, like that, click OK. Now, we'll obtain the inner circle, diameter of 15, sketch circle, identify the center, is here, smart dimension, diameter of 15 millimeters it's fully defined go to features extrude cut and you select up to next okay see and then we can simply do mirror our mirror face or plane will be right plane now features to mirror select this one and also the extrude cut like this we can click ok and just like that our sketch is done we have obtained the feature that we wanted so this exercise is similar to what we have here thank you so much for tuning in see you in the next tutorial don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification so that you'll not miss my next upload